Yo, what it do guys and welcome to my first Lost Ark video. Here are some tips I personally would have appreciated before jumping into the game or progressing throughout the story. I'm going to keep them simple and not explain them completely in depth as some would need their own videos to explain. However, let's just jump straight into them. Number one, battle chests, engraving recipes and all chests in general. Now, let's get the most confusing out of the way first. When you begin Lost Ark, you will gather up a good amount of chests, recipes, and items. My advice to you is a general rule of thumb I want you to follow. If you do not know what it is, and if you do not currently need it, then do not open it and consume it. I won't go into these just yet. I can always do a separate video on them, but for now, save them within your inventory for later. And if you want to, do a little research for them to be explained to you properly. Number two, dragging your mini map around. Now this is a great quality of life asset. HUD control is usually never flashy, but it's always appreciated whenever done correctly. Most customization on the fly as we progress within different areas. Hit tab to bring up your mini map and by holding middle mouse over it, you can drag your mini map to the location on the screen that you want. Now this is a must know for all players. Number three, lock in your items. I place this one highly in my books. If you're an organizing freak like me, then accidentally hitting sort and watching your items get organized in a way you no longer understand them is something I too struggle with. So by holding the left alt key and left clicking on the item, you can unlock and unlock as you so choose. Number four, tripods. I misunderstood the original usage of these. Now, firstly, once you unlock a tripod, you can actually teleport to it from anywhere within the continent you're currently in. You don't need to be standing on one portal to go to another portal. Secondly, quests will throw you back and forth within areas. You can open up your mini map by pressing tab and left alt and left click to click onto the tripod to get you to another one. It's just fast and simple. Number five, changing the color of your cursor. This isn't one I see often in many games. By holding your left control button and scrolling your middle mouse wheel, you can change the color of your cursor even in mid combat. And this is definitely handy when everything in that environment is the same color, especially with all of the ability effects going on from yourself and other classes. This is a good tip to not lose your placements. Number six, battle pings. As you progress throughout your story, you will soon find yourself matchmaking with others. And when you do, communicating quick is something you need to learn. By holding control and also holding left click, you can then drag over one of four commands to quickly communicate and talk to your allies with key instructions like repositioning the boss to the middle of the room. Definitely go and keep this in mind. Number seven, Bifrost. Underneath your minimap, fourth icon on the left is access to your Bifrost. You should already have one unlocked to begin with. These are teleport save locations. Wherever you are currently standing, just click save location and it will be saved right there. This is an easy way of getting back to where you want to be and save the trouble of travel. You can also resave and replace this location every 24 hours and you can teleport to it every two hours. So it does have a cooldown, but again, these are extremely useful. Number eight, ocean embarkations, or as I like to call them, ferries. Getting around from one continent to the next while sailing yourself is definitely relaxing and fun. However, it's not the fastest route of travel outside of direct teleport. But if you're running on Bifrost cooldowns or Song of Return cooldowns, then head to your local port location, talk to the NPC and pay a trip fee to get to the next area much faster than you yourself sailing. Number nine, route sailing. As mentioned, sailing is a core part of the game and is satisfyingly relaxing. However, did you know that you could plan your route on autopilot? Open up your map and click on the square area that you wish to travel to to see the islands easier. For example, from here, alt and left click will send your ship in the straightest and most forward direction to reach your destination. Be aware of the seas, however. Some areas do massive damage to your ship. You can auto route several times, so try to click on several locations to avoid this and watch your autopilot do all of the work whilst you browse other menus. And finally, number 10, video ratio change for more field of view. Open up your game settings and head to your video settings. From here, you can force a 21 9 aspect ratio. By doing this, you will actually see like a movie mode screen, condensing and squeezing in more for you to go and see. 
it's almost like zooming out. Now this is handy in some boss fights and even handy in PvP for you to get a little bit more of an advantage in terms of what you can see. So there you have it. These are my 10 tips that I would recommend to a new player and things I honestly wish I had known sooner. I hope this video has helped you learn a new thing or two and there definitely is quite a few more tips that are in store but perhaps another video down the line. I try to keep this video short and sweet as I could for you to jump in and just get your information and jump out. So if you enjoyed it, then I would appreciate a cheeky like. Subscribe if you are new to this channel. And if you have any other tips, then please share some in the comment section below. But as always, I will be seeing you guys again in the next video.